Hey everyone, Dr. Brad here from Kids Eating Broccoli, DrLSOR.com. Today's topic from the mainstream news was this report that just came out that says the cases of Alzheimer's disease is expected to double over the next 30 to 40 years. And double, that's a lot. That's a lot of new cases. And there's also a, a much, they suspect a much higher rate of people who actually have it right now who don't even know they have it. So our word for the day is glycation. And the reason for that is it's our science word for the day. And I'm going to try to make that make easy sense for you. But the reason we're talking about glycation, the reason we're talking about Alzheimer's disease, and how this relates to kids eating broccoli, which is what we do here, um, I'm going to touch on all those points. So glycation is a process that happens in our body, in the cells of our body. And the quick and dirty explanation of glycation is, is that um, when we have excess sugar in our bloodstream, those sugar molecules operate like um, a bit like, uh, you know, damaging particles or a bit like um, oxidation particles um, or free radicals. And so, I mean, to, in some extent, but what they really do is they go and they glom on or stick on to other structures in our cellular membranes um, in the cells of our body. And they stick there and they cause degradation or destruction of those structures and they cause the different parts of our bodies to break down. Now, one of the most susceptible areas to glycation is our brain and in particular certain connection points in our brain. Now, people who research Alzheimer's have found that these particular types of connections in our brains that glycation destroys are actually what are also destroyed in these Alzheimer's patients to the degree that, to which a lot of Alzheimer's uh, researchers actually call it type 3 diabetes, right? So we know type 1 diabetes is what they, call, they used to call uh, juvenile onset, but basically it's uh, an autoimmune reaction where your pancreas basically stops producing insulin, you become insulin dependent. Type 2 diabetes, they used to call adult onset, though obviously we're seeing tons of it in our children's population now, um, is insulin resistance. So the preponderance of sugar in the bloodstream, the highs and lows and spikes and in insulin releases cause our cells to become resistant to insulin because they get so much of it, and that's just how our body works. The more of some chemical we get, the more uh, or the less um, you know, sensitive we are to that. So the cells become less and less sensitive. So then we run into a whole bunch of problems with maintaining our blood sugar levels. Type 3 diabetes now is when those sugar and those insulin reactions happen long enough, they cause all this glycation in our body, and in, in our brain in particular, and it, and it leads to Alzheimer's disease. So... How this relates to how we feed our kids? Well, first and foremost, stop feeding them so much damn sugar. Now, you know, I'm sort of joking there, but not really. I mean, if you think about our culture here in the U.S., every special event, every special holiday th that we do with our kids is surrounded by and highlighted by sugar, right? I mean, you got birthday parties. They got cake and ice cream and sodas. You have Halloween, one of my kids' favorite holidays of the year, for better or worse, tons of candy, you know, you go into the Christmas time holiday, cookies and desserts and candies, you know, you have Valentine's Day candies, Easter candies, St. Patrick's Day, now they got green candies, right? Everything is about sweets and sugar and candies. And, you know, I get it. It's like kids get happy when you give them sugar. It's like you want to have your kids be happy, but they get happy and it causes destruction. And one of the areas where it destroys a lot of our body is in our brain that's the big reason, right? I mean, this idea that the cases will double is essentially based on if everything goes along how it's been going. But if we, if you, if me, if we can intervene. Hey, we're back now. Um, we can change the future, the potential of our kids and create a legacy of health for not only our kids and our kids' kids, but future generations from there if we make those changes now. So... Let's do that together. Please join me, and we can create a movement. We can, we can create a transformation out of this movement of creating a better life, a healthier life, a better chance of potential lived for our children. So join the movement. Make the change. Check back with me. I got lots of good information. I've 
learn from some of the masters in the, the world right now about kids' health and nutrition and eating. You can check out our close Facebook group, Family Wellness Legacy. We'll let you in. Just go ahead and find it on Facebook, Family Wellness Legacy. Ask to be put in there. I'll put you in there. You can find all kinds of great information there, and you can join with us in, you know, in the Family Wellness Legacy tribe. All right, you guys, take care. This is Dr. Brad from The Kids Eating Broccoli, drlsor.com. We'll see you later.